you everybody for joining us. Today yes. we're with my good friend, Mr. Jim Zenitos, and uh, we're at Thorncrest Ford. You want to talk about the Ford F-150s? Yes. Why specifically did you pick this car? Well, uh, number one thing is that the uh, Ford F-150 is the big Canada's best-selling truck for the last okay. 50 years, so that's something we could uh, be proud of. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell us a little bit about the cars. Uh, I see you got two different models here. I have two different models. Different uh, the one on my right oh, is yeah. the F-150 uh, Super Cab, which is in some cases the cabin half. Okay. Yeah. So you got the front doors, and then you got another half door that opens up at the back. It opens up just yeah. like a suicide okay. door set up. On my left is the uh, Ford F-150 Crew Cab. Now there's two box sizes that you can get, which is the uh, five and a half and the six and a half foot box. That okay. of course changes the wheelbase from 145 inches to 157. Now what else is uh, the main difference between these two cars other than the cab difference? The length of the two trucks is exactly the same. It's okay. 232 inches long. Mm -hmm. uh, the main difference is that you automatically get a six and a half foot box on the super cab. Okay. And you get a five and a half foot box on this side. However, the six and a half box can be accommodated as well. And the two engine choices are only available on that, which is the standard five liter V8, okay. which develops a good 360 horsepower, uh, and or the uh, three and a half liter uh, twin turbo V6, which develops 365.45. The other thing is the capabilities of a start-stop feature, which, so if you're waiting at the light, folks, and you're burning that fuel, it turns off automatically. I see that kind of stuff very commonly on the Benz and the BMW. Correct. I'm surprised to hear that it's actually very nice. Stand on a truck. Yes, yeah, stand. Stand. a little walk around the car and check it out. That's a lot of paper, yeah. Now, you know what? I've seen the back side of the other one. It's huge. Yes. But this is just more than this. The key factor to this is that both of the same length as other than the size of the box. Wow. This is equipped with Bluetooth, which is also a standard feature. You have a USB port as well. Your AM, FM radio and your satellite radio is also included. Complimentary for us about six months. The capabilities of a power inverter are capable as well. Plug in at about 400 watts. So you can use a standard hair dryer or uh, charge up a, a drill or anything like wow. that. This is capable of six passengers. Six passengers. You got six three in the front, That's three right. in the back. Yeah. Okay. Optionally, you can get what we call a sport model, which will give you the capabilities of the console in the center and the shifter moving from the column down to the floor. Okay. Um, and you pick and choose a color, black, white, blue flame, and you can get a nice big large 20-inch wheel. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's check out the other guy. Sure. Now, um, in the back of the truck, mm -hmm. specifically when you have the trailer towing package, you do have the seven pin and the four pin wiring harness back there, okay. quite easily accessible. We used to put it underneath the truck, but it used to get pretty gummed up as far as um, uh, dirt as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, because you bought the XTR package, they included okay. the backup camera. So you know what, I think that's yeah. such a key yeah. feature, especially with uh, these kind of cars, because right. you literally you can't see what's going on back there. Yeah, some of the other features that you can add uh, in addition to that is backup sensors as well. Okay. Now, when you lock the doors, the tailgate locks. So okay. that's, that's, that's that feature as well. Right. Now, when you move on to the Lariat, believe it or not, a standard feature is the, you know, how you have those power tailgates on some of the SUVs that automatically open. Well, guess what, folks? We thought of that too. <laughs> so you can press the button and automatically the tailgate would go down in a very slow motion like this and allow you to load your okay. items in there without getting your hands dirty. Perfect. So that feature is there. Okay, so that's for that. Can we check out the other guy? Sure. Perfect. Let's uh, move on to the second guy. Now, in addition to the box, what we were talking about, because, hey, everybody uses their vehicles a lot, especially in the pickup truck world. Okay. There's a little feature here. You can get that as an option. That's awesome. So, it tucks away. Now, we've put the optional trifold cover on the back here. Okay. So, it depends on each person's personal preferences. Okay. Everybody accessorizes the truck. As we were talking about boxes, here's the liner that's the plastic and expensive, the least expensive one you could take right. and it's got a locking capability. Check out the inside of this guy. All right, Jim, tell me a little bit about the interior of this car. All right. We are in here. So. So, middle seat, big seat, comfortable car. Big seat, okay. storage under here, 
Okay. Lift this up, more storage under here as wow. well. And this is obviously a seat itself. Correct. Okay, USB ports. Two USB ports. We have a 12 volt charger, 12 volt charger here. With the package, you can also add, as I said, the power inverter, which would be in here. Okay. Guess what? There's another 12 volt charger back here as well for the kids. Mm -hmm. We've um, upgraded this particular model with the Sync 3 system. It has this updated Sync 3. Uh, updated Sync 3 okay. with the capabilities of voice commands. While you're driving, you don't have to touch the screen. Mm -hmm. It's iPhone friendly. Okay. You know about the Android can, phones and stuff like that as well? Android phones is very good. Blackberry okay. is good. It's run by a QNX system, believe it or not, through Blackberry. I thought these guys are with Microsoft, the Sync system. Oh, we did. Unfortunately, we decided to go with a different direction. Some wow. of the major competitors like uh, Porsche and BMW use the same, the same type of system as okay. well. Uh, as you can see, as part of the trailer towing package in this system, we have the Pro Trailer Backup, which allows it, believe it or not, folks, you can actually steer your truck using this little dial into your trailer. So no with the cable, way. yes. So you will do the steering. Oh, of course, you will still control with your uh, accelerator and brake pedal, but this will allow you to back it up professionally and do it like done it hundreds of times. I, I can't even imagine how that works. It works pretty that's, neat. That's it works. Crazy. Yeah. This little package also has got the electronic day night mode for your rear view mirror. Privacy glass comes standard. Mm -hmm. And also, guess what? We've also put it on the side view mirror too. Okay. So that little thing will do the same thing as it does there. on that side. There. Blind spot monitoring systems, are what we call Bliss, is available and generally that includes cross traffic alert. As you're backing out, anybody coming on the side, oh, yeah. it will alert you about four car widths coming from either the right or the left hand side. Does it and break itself or it just gives you a warning? Or it gives you a warning. Oh, Light would appear on the dash. How much is it for the navigation system? It's only an $800 upgrade. The beauty of the new system is that you pull up to a Wi-Fi spot and it, it does updates. It, it updates next to the, well. the side of the energy system. Uh, exactly. Okay. You do get 911 assist feature, which if mm. the airbags deploy, it dials it up for you. Of course, you can That's knock it out feature. if you are in a position to do that. If you don't got insurance, you got to <laughs> knock that out. <laughs> now, regarding airbag deployment, this truck was rated the top safety pick of all domestic pickup trucks. Wow. Got a five-star rating. Some of our competitors did not get that. So from a crash integrity point of view, folks, this is the top safety pick. And what does that mean to you? When you insure this truck, it's going to have less cost. cost lower insurance rates. And of course, your family's most important. That also falls into that category as well. Yeah. Sounds good, Jim. We heard a lot about the car. Let's go Let's go drive it out. Sure. See, see what it feels like. Sure. All right, Jim, take us for a drive. We'll do that. Let's see how this car drives. Now we're in the V6. Twin turbo V6 with good old 365 horsepower. All right. And we're gonna experience how it flies. All right. As we see that we have the optional sports package. So this is the one that Jim's been talking about this whole time. Right, you basically lose the seat in Correct. the middle, Correct. but you got all the whole dash system going on here. Correct. Okay. Now this little package also has, as you can see in the back, a power rear with a defroster mm -hmm. and some of the, the great features on this. I love. But on a serious note, are these cars uh, gas guzzlers? The capabilities of how they use it. So if they use a very low um, gear ratio, they'll find they'll push it harder as opposed to a higher gear ratio because they got it loaded down. Exactly. So that would affect your fuel economy. So you have choices of what gear ratio you want to purchase? Correct. With the car? Correct. Okay. So if you're going to tow and you want something that will tow a lot more, obviously mm -hmm. a higher gear ratio will be, give you the better capabilities. Better capabilities. Um, at the same fact, it also, guess what folks, you got to do a bigger tire, you're going to need a higher gear ratio mm -hmm. because it's going to work harder to move that bigger tire as well. So you want to make sure you're lined up correctly with a lot of the features. Okay. Your right foot obviously has a big impact on... Uh, Correct. The, <laughs> the these gas well. That's right. These accelerators are fly-by-wire, mm -hmm. so it will respond accordingly and give you the capabilities of driving it in a correct manner. Now with the sink, all your controls are mounted on the steering wheel. Okay. So just to give you an example, I can tell it right now. Please say a command. AM 680. Tuning to AM 680. There you are, folks. Very responsive. Very responsive to that. Now, I know you can actually change the climate and the temperature and everything inside the car with that sync system as well. Correct. Okay. There's also text messaging. You read back a text message for it. You can also have 15 preset responses back. 
this vehicle is amazing for quietness. The one thing that people notice is say, when yeah. you drive inside one of these, it gives you a quiet ride. This truck can be adjusted to your driving standards as, as we just went over uh, railroad tracks and you didn't even feel it. No. All you heard was the tires go off and that was it. Try that in my car. <laughs> Try that in some cars and some trucks where you get a, a nasty wobble. Mm -hmm. Now with this console, there's also vents back here for your rear passengers too. Don't tell me there's a fridge in there. <laughs> uh, almost. You can also plug in one of those coolers that a lot of people carry, those portable coolers yeah, you can exactly. plug in and keep everything nice and cold. Yeah, I enjoyed the drive because it's very smooth, very quiet. I'm excited to drive it. Now it's my turn. I drive this bad boy. Put it in D. What do we got? Yeah, there we go. Okay, first thing I would say it's so smooth. Like, it's so responsive. I have great visibility from the back, great visibility from the front. You can definitely check for your blind spot. Like, this is not one of those cars that when you're driving, you really can't see your blind spot. You can fully check it here. Am I going this way, Jim? Yes. All right. The gas pedal is definitely very responsive. You don't need to push it a lot unless you need to push it. So you're telling me something about the seats. They're um, equipped with a lumbar support for your back. Okay. And uh, there is a massage option, believe it or not, <laughs> folks. And uh, obviously that's on the upper echelon of the uh, models. So if you go up from a Lariat to a uh, King Ranch or a uh, Limited Series, they have a massaging feature. It's quite subtle enough, but uh, great on those long drives. Is good for the driver and the passenger, of course. Oh, you got it for both sides. I get them for both oh sides, God. so we can't forget about that. Any other features that we forgot to talk about? It does on some of the models have also have air conditioning mode. You can definitely air condition the seats. You know, a lot of these cars are equipped with push button starts. With that capability, it allows you to remote start the car from a distance, warming up the car at a specific In these time. crazy cold Canadian winters, you could also adjust it that it stays on for five, 10 or 15 minutes. So if you did get distracted, you won't drain as well. So perfect. And of course, if you'd like to use cruise control, there is an advanced cruise control feature that allow you to uh, put a gap into your driving that no keeps way. a safe distance, yes. This car has it? Yes. I've seen that on Benz's and BMW's and Volvo's. As opposed to turning on and off the system yeah. or tapping the brake, it will always maintain that, uh, that, that gap. Uh, that gap and of course pre-charge the brakes if you're not paying attention and set off alarms. Of course, there is what we call lane keep assist that mm -hmm. Ford has on these vehicles as well that will allow you to alert you if you're drifting off. Uh, just it vibrate. will vibrate the steering wheel mm -hmm. and it's give you a Hey, you're uh, dozing off, dozing off. <laughs> no, you're dozing off. Let's let's put a little bit of gas into it. See sure. what it feels like. This thing goes. As you can see, I got thrown back there with all that torque. <laughs> Now, that was a lot of this torque. is the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. Mm -hmm. This gives you 420 foot pounds of torque at a low 2500 RPM. Honestly, I think when you sit down and you do the calculation for the prices and stuff like that, does it come out to much to own one of these cars on a lease? Not very like much. Uh, with 24 month leasing at 0%, wow. and uh, three year leasing at 0.99%, it makes it quite a competitive payment in general. All right, that does sort of wrap up this drive with Mr. Jim Zenodos. Now, if you want to get more information about him, I'm going to have some information linked below where you can get information about him, where to find him, and uh, if you want some more information about this car or any of the other cars that they have at the Thorncrest Ford. Uh, Jim, what's the best phone number that someone can contact you on here? Uh, directly, they can reach me at 416 521 7062 that reaches us directly okay. or 521 7000 of course at the 416 area code that reaches us at our main switchboard okay and of course we have our website info at thorncrest.com i also have my web address there as well at, at under jim and the letter z at thorncrest.com so we're gonna have more videos with jim with some of the other cars that's here thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video